It's time to talk about week three of marathon training. Good morning, YouTube. Actually, I just realized it's going to be like the afternoon when I post this, but it's morning somewhere. So good morning. What's up everybody? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. For this week's video, we're just gonna be talking about my marathon training. I didn't really feel like doing a shoe video per se this week and I also only ran in one shoe that I've already been running in that you've already seen on the channel. We'll get to that. Uh, but yeah, we're in week three. It's moving right along and this past week it was pretty damn hot outside. So we're gonna talk about all of that today and how I did with it. Look at this dog butt right here okay so for week three we rounded off the week with 29 miles so let's go down the list on monday i had a rest day on tuesday i did five easy wednesday another rest day and then on thursday i did a different type of speed workout than i did the past two weeks i did six miles and uh alternating every half mile i pushed it so we'll talk more about that in a moment four easy on friday saturday today was a rest day and then sunday i ran supposed to run running tomorrow today's actually saturday 14 miles so i'll post a clip of that after i do it to let you know how it went this week was so ridiculously hot. It was kind of insane. It was hot for New York. I know a lot of you who live in Florida and Texas and all those, you know, Southern places that are lots hotter than here will be like, that's nothing. But here it was hot as hell. For Tuesday for my easy run, I don't remember it being too terrible, too hot. I mean, it was definitely a little bit uh, spicy out there. I'm looking at my stats from it right now and um, I ran at a 1020 pace overall and my heart rate was was around 146 BPM. Um, so pretty good. I stayed under the 150 BPM mark which is what I've been wanting to do for my easy runs. If you haven't watched the previous recap video basically I want to keep my easy runs around a 10 minute to a 1030 pace or really just something that's gonna keep my heart rate under 150 BPM. I really wanna be in the 140s for my easy runs. Um, and that's because I want to train slower to run faster. It's all about building that aerobic engine as Kate, my coach and BFF says. And um, that's what we're going by here. So trying to keep it under 150, 146, I'll definitely take it. My slowest split was my first split, 1026. And my fastest split was actually my last split. It looks like I actually negative split this, but not intentionally. Um, my last split was 1012. Somebody asked me if I could let you guys know what shoes I'm wearing on my runs. And for this run, I wore the New Balance Super Comp Trainer. And you're gonna see a pattern throughout this video about what shoes I wore. Thursday's run was a little bit different. So basically what happened was I tried to sleep a little bit later on Thursday. By later, I mean like get out of the bed at nine o'clock. Um, and that was because I was gonna be at work in the city until 2 a.m. Um, Friday morning. So I was gonna be there from like 3 p.m. to 2 a.m. And I knew it was gonna be kind of a long day. However, it was also super hot outside on Thursday here, like 100 degrees. Um, so I kind of screwed myself in waking up a little bit later because it ended up being really hot for my speed workout, <laughs> but I managed to still do what I could with it. So we'll talk about that right now. Uh, let me pull it up. Okay, so what the workout was again was six miles and every half mile I was supposed to push it. Around uh, an estimate of time was supposed to be like 735 per, mi per mile, but um, it was really, really hot. So I talked to Kate about this and we kind of decided, listen, just do what you can. It should just be uncomfortably hard. And it was already uncomfortably hot outside, so. But actually I ended up surprising myself and doing decent. For my push it half miles, they were as follows, 758, 748, 744, 752, 745, and the last one, 806. So decent, 
not 735, but I was not expecting to be anywhere near that with how hot it was outside. So um, for my like easy half miles, I did 1048, 1004, 1009, 959, 1011, 1016. Something that I had noticed about doing this kind of workout, and I've done these before, but um, I've never really talked about this, is that after the fast half mile, it's kind of hard for your body to regulate what the easy mile should really be. So really for like one of these easy half miles I was doing like 10, 11 and 9, 59, really I should have been going slower than that for my easy half miles, I think. But because I had just been going so fast, it felt really like slow. Um, so definitely something to get used to in the future for doing workouts like this. I need to just pull back even more, go even slower for those easier portions so that I have more gas for the harder parts. But again, I am really pleased with what I was able to do despite the weather circumstances. And the shoe that I used for that run was the New Balance Super Comp Trainer. Once I finished that workout, I kind of had to rush around to get to the city for work. Like I said, I was there till 2 a.m. I didn't get home till like 3 a.m. and didn't get to sleep until 3.15, 3.30, something like that. Um, I woke up the next day around 8-ish. So not a ton of sleep, but I was all right. And I was kind of happy because I had four easy miles to do. Again, Friday, it was super hot, so Definitely with being tired and with it being so hot, I was kind of like, bleh. But I got out there a little bit late, a little too late for the heat. It says here on Strava that I got out there at 10, 17 a.m. Don't recommend that, but we did it. We made it work and um, I averaged a 1041 pace for my four mile easy run and a 151 BPM. So actually not too bad, higher than I want for sure, but not like too high, I guess. It's not, it's, it's, it's close enough. My fastest split for that run was 1031 and my slowest was 1057. And for that run, I wore, look at this, what a surprise. The New Balance Super Comp Trainer. Can you believe it? And then tomorrow, Sunday, but today when you're watching this, I'm gonna do 14 miles. Now, uh, my plan for that is to bring three goos with me and my handheld water bottle. I have the campfire s'mores again and the vanilla flavor, so I'm just gonna use those. It's supposed to be warm and um, I'm gonna definitely bring water with me and start super, super early. We're gonna be going out there. Me, Ariana, and Kate are actually gonna go together. So that should be fun. I'm hoping that kind of gives me a little bit of extra pep because I remember for last week's run, around like mile 10, I mean, I felt good the whole time, but around mile 10, I started to feel like, all right, like a little uncomfortable mentally and physically. So we'll see if it happens tomorrow. And of course, right after I stop talking, I'll put a clip of how the run actually went. We all just finished our runs. I did the 14, Kate did 12, Ariana did 10. Um, I did 12, well, a little less than 12. Like 11.52 with Kate. Um, and then I did the rest by myself. It was like a 12.02 or 04 pace overall. I'm um, feeling good. It's hot as hell out here. It's really hot. It's like a switch flipped, and all of a sudden it was blazing hot. Micro. This was a microwave, yeah. I might, I've sweat in my eye. Um, what else can I say in this thing? Um, oh, I had three goos out there. I campfire some wars, two of those, and ouch, one vanilla bean um, and water and Gatorade mixed. <laughs> my eyes are like, <laughs> sweat is like falling into my eyes and just burning the hell out of them. <laughs> um, and so the, the last couple miles, I did it like a nine something pace and the eyes are the rest was like in the 12s, I think. This is a terrible, terrible recap, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop doing this now because this really burns. Oh, I wore the super comp trainers again. Went well. Thanks, everyone. But I'm a running shoe reviewer, so I should be, you know, mixing it up. Uh, but if you've been following my running journey, through the years of me being on YouTube, then you know that I slept, suffer from um, some plantar 
fasciitis problems. And every so often they flare up a bit. And depending on what shoes I'm wearing or just how many miles I'm running week, uh, it can get a little bit burny. It's like a burn feeling. And I've been experiencing that here and there for the last like couple months or so. Uh, and I don't actually feel that in this shoe. I think it's just because of how much cushioning is in the heel of it. So I figured that I would just run in it for a while and see if it kind of alleviates a little bit. But I will say that I don't really have any kind of heel pain when I wear this. So it's a safe bet for me. Hopefully it was a safe bet for 14 miles. Guess we'll find out when future Emily tells you so. Future Emily here to say the run went well. Another random thing that I recommend if you are a person who also suffers from plantar fasciitis issues is to get yourself a pair of UFOs. UFOs, I think it's UFOs. Um, I, this is not sponsored by them. They didn't send me these. Kate actually got me these for my birthday in May. And I am obsessed with these. I literally wear them everywhere. I wear them around the house. I wear them out. I don't care. I have no shame. They are super comfortable. It's really important for me to have my heel elevated a bit for it to not hurt. If I'm barefoot, I'm a goner. So uh, wearing these has really changed the game. Yes, I still love my Crocs, but for some reason, the UFOs just hit different. And I really, really like these. Week three's in the bag. Can't believe that week four, a month of training will be next week. Kind of exciting, kind of crazy, and uh, I'm enjoying it so far. So we're in good shape. I know it's still early, but so far so good. And um, we're just gonna keep trucking along here, aren't we, Ruby? She does not care. She's like dead asleep. All right, well that concludes my week three recap of Suffolk County Marathon training. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell so you can find out every time I upload a new video. I have another video for you next week, but in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Heller. See you next time. You're slapping yourself with your tail. Are you taking a nap? Am I disrupting your nap? Oh my. Oh, you look very tired. Oh my goodness. Good night.